Alzheimer's is a condition that of the top 10 conditions that cause death, Alzheimer's is the only one that has no treatment at all, no treatment, no therapy, no cure. So we're sort of faced with this condition that we really don't fully understand. What our, our particular study focused on was looking at the blood vessels in the brain and the cells specifically that line these blood vessels called endothelial cells. At the point of contact of these endothelial cells, there are things called tight junctions. And we've essentially shown that in Alzheimer's disease, these tight junctions can open and close. And we actually showed that this molecule amyloid beta can cause the opening and closing itself and in effect allow for its removal from the brain back into the blood. So what we found was that this toxic protein amyloid beta can pass between the cells that line the blood vessels in the brain. And this could be a new way by which amyloid beta can be cleared out of the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease. Now it's all well and good to get information as it pertains to a disease in cells or in, in animal models. But realistically, if you want to get a better understanding of human disease, you need to look at human tissue. And that's where the Dublin Brain Bank came in. So the Brain Bank was established in 2008 to fulfil a much needed requirement by neuroscience researchers in Ireland. We provide neuroscience research tissue to different research groups throughout Ireland and further afield. It's amazing to know that you could be part of a cure or a furthering a treatment of a neurological disease such as Alzheimer's disease. Now amyloid beta has been associated with Alzheimer's disease previously. It's been shown that people who have high levels of amyloid beta in their brain can actually be at increased risk of developing Alzheimer's. And methods aimed at clearing this material from the brain, so clearing it from the brain back out, in, out into the blood, have been purported as a, a major therapeutic option in patients. Mm -hmm. We've shown that amyloid beta can passively diffuse. It can just move between the endothelial cells that line blood vessels, and it can be cleared from the brain very, very rapidly and have beneficial um, outcomes in, in animal models. So we're, we're quite excited that this could be a novel approach to treating or thinking about treating Alzheimer's as an adjunct, as an additive therapy to the current therapies that are being developed.